Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P R O M O S T K, Shella's Creations Way. And I'm going to be frying some crispy fried Pollock fish. Oh yeah, some crispy fried Pollock fish while caught. Oh yeah, so if you love some fish, come on and check out this fried fish recipe. Mm mm mm. Crispy, crispy goodness. Oh yeah. All right, you guys, so this is the Pollock fish. These are the ingredients, and let's get to it. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, it's your girl, Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Shella's Creations Way at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Eating good in the neighborhood. And we're going to be doing a challenge today, y'all. I got some Pollock, some wild-caught Pollock. You guys, any of you guys have anything have ever had wild pull-off. And I'm gonna be slicing them down the middle because we're gonna be doing a challenge. And the challenge is gonna be plenty of fish in the sea challenge created by Mark Weiss Hilson. And we were challenged. So I'm gonna be, you can either get yours from a uh, pub, uh, no, pub, from um, uh, Captain D's or Long John Silver's, or you can make it yourself. So we've had enough of the Captain D's since it's, everything's going on now with the, uh, viruses and stuff covid a lot of the restaurants their quality of food is just not the same so i'm gonna do my own we're gonna do this so i've thawed these fish these little fishes out and i'm gonna wash them off and we're gonna bring them back to the table and we're gonna get them all seasoned up and ready to be deep fried with some all-purpose flour and some cornstarch oh yeah all right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna, I've already washed my fish off, as you see. I'm gonna go ahead and put my all-purpose flour in my little pan here. Okay. And I'm gonna put my cornstarch in there as well. Okay. We want a light batter, we do not want a heavy batter. Let me do a little mix up in here with the flour. Okay. I already have my grease sitting on the eye over there, getting hot. We'll go ahead and add our, our onion. And this onion powder, I don't know why they clump up, but hey, we gonna make it do what it do. So we got that, and that's about um, a tablespoon. We're gonna have our cayenne pepper. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of each. Oh, cayenne pepper. Some badia complete, because we're not gonna add any salt. Okay. We're gonna add some lemon pepper seasoning. That little lemon, lemon, lemon kick. Again, about a tablespoon of each of these seasonings. Let's do our black pepper. We won't do garlic powder, you guys. Black pepper. You can put some um, some paprika in here for color if you like but we're just gonna do just these ingredients again I did not put the garlic in there I have garlic already in the um, tartar sauce that I made up so we don't want garlic fish we just want a good seasoning on our fish all right now we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna pretty much cut it in half. And that's gonna make it narrow 
so that we can put it in our in our breadstick. All right. So again, this is Pollock Wild Caught. Okay. See these little strips here. Nice little strips for those breadsticks. And just lay those over in there. And I, and I do want um, my fish to have a little of the uh, uh, wet to it because it makes it adhere to the batter more. I know a lot of people may pat dry their fish and on occasion it's warranted, but for this right here, we're just gonna leave it just like this. And we're not gonna do fish and chips. This is a challenge. So we're not gonna do fish and chips. We're just gonna do the fish. We're gonna have mashed potatoes as our side. I know Marquis did his challenge. He had macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna just do mashed potatoes as our side dish. So we got all those pieces. It's just some extra pieces of fish that broke off. All right. So let's get these babies floured up. So we're just gonna kind of just roll it in the flour. Mixture. There's a roll. And again, I already have my um, water not my water I'm sorry <laughs> I already have my grease on the eye and it's vegetable oil and some of my reused fish grease anytime I fry I like to add a little bit of the reused in it just gives it that extra flavor I think at least that's the way my grandma and my mom used to do it Get all this on here. Mm -hmm. Almost there, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so good. Y'all can go to my cooking channel and look at my other uh, fish that I've prepared and made for you guys. And feel free to comment if you haven't already. And just uh, let me know what you think about those. I kind of, when I do recipes, I kind of try and do things a little different each time I, I do stuff because I, I like variety and I like people, you know, seeing the different ways you can do things. And that's why I named that channel Promo SDK Shuttle's Creations Way because it's my way. It doesn't necessarily have to be the right way, but it's my way. All right, I can get my hand and see like this right here. You can you can get some little um, <laughs> some little crunchies out of here, but I'm not going to do the crunchies today. I might throw some in there just for me to eat. But all right, let me wash my hands. I'm going to move you guys over here, <clears throat> and the grease is hot. It's really hot. Ooh. Let's start it up. This grease is hot, so it's just like deep frying it. So you don't have to let it be in there too long. You don't want the dish to dry out.
Smelling good. Smelling good. Go ahead and plate them up. See that? Mm. You still want to get out a little crispy, so. <laughs> This crunch. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Mm, it's so good. Okay. Mm, all right. Now let's get the last of our fish in here. Mm, shake it, shake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
of that front. And once those get ready, we're going to be ready to be at the table to eat this enough challenge. Again, this is plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish in the sea challenge. Sorry about marking these children. Oh, yeah. We'll be back. All right, so it's time to turn these over. Get these on. Yep. And now we're gonna go ahead and slice up our, yeah, breadsticks. And these breast sticks was great ideas from Marquise Hilson. They're gonna make up some really, really nice fish sandwiches for the size of the fish fillets that I've sliced up. They'll be perfect to sandwich those crisp pieces of mm, mm, crunchy, crispy, goodness of that pull up fish oh yeah let's get the table set all right you guys let's get this challenge started we have our fish we have our breast sticks we have our tartar sauce and the mashed potatoes are in the microwave finishing up and we're gonna bring it all together and eat this for this. Okay, y'all ready for this? Plenty of fish in the sea challenge. Plenty of fish, look at you. Look at that fish, y'all, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Look at that fish. And this is fried Pollock. Seasoned and fried, show those creations away. Oh yeah. And there's the mashed potatoes. All right, you guys, are y'all ready for it? Mm. Got that mashed potatoes out of the microwave. And look at that, oh, look at that steam coming off those potatoes. Oh yeah. So y'all ready for this? Plenty of fish in the sea challenge created by Marquise Hilson. Oh yeah. The challenge is one side, four fish sandwiches on the, mm-hmm, yeah. That's it, on the breadsticks with tartar sauce. And we're gonna get this party started. Don't forget the coldest water. Tishella 10, I'll get you in. 